In a David versus Goliath battle that captured the world's attention, a seemingly ordinary man took on one of the biggest corporate giants in a high-stakes courtroom showdown. This is the captivating story of Leonard v. PepsiCo, Inc., a legal clash that would forever change the landscape of consumer rights and the power of advertising. It all began with an innocuous television commercial, promising an extravagant reward for any individual who collected a specific number of Pepsi points. Those points could be exchanged for a sleek, state-of-the-art fighter jet, an offer that seemed too good to be true. Introducing the new Pepsi Stuff Catalog. In the epic battle of soda giants during the rad 1990s, Pepsi found itself in a fierce rivalry with Coca-Cola. But Pepsi wasn't content with just sipping soda success. They wanted to capture the hearts of a younger crowd. So in March 1996, they unleashed a mind-blowing campaign called Pepsi Stuff, where people could collect Pepsi points and exchange them for awesome goodies like cool t-shirts and slick leather jackets. You know what's even cooler? These points could be earned by buying Pepsi products that had special labels attached to them. It was like a treasure hunt. But wait, it gets even more epic. Pepsi unleashed a series of mind-blowing TV commercials to promote their campaign. And one of these commercials featured a mind-boggling computer-generated Pepsi-themed AV-8 Harrier 2 jet. You heard it right, a jaw-dropping jet right there in the ad. They even said you could get this super sleek flying machine for a whopping 7 million Pepsi points. Can you imagine soaring through the skies in your very own Pepsi-powered jet? It was the stuff dreams were made of. Now get this. A 21-year-old business student named John Leonard saw that commercial and got his gears turning. He realized something mind-blowing. The promotion actually allowed people to buy Pepsi points for just 10 cents each. That's when John's entrepreneurial spirit kicked in. He rallied up five investors and managed to gather a staggering $700,000. Talk about ambition. With a bold move, John sent a check to Pepsi for $708.50, including $1.10 for shipping and handling. He even included 15 of those special labels as proof of his soda devotion, just like the promotion rules stated. But guess what? Pepsi's response was beyond shocking they actually turned down John's offer. They called the whole jet thing in the commercial fanciful and insisted it was just meant to be a funny and entertaining ad. This unforgettable saga of soda wars and daring dreams captured the attention of the nation. It was a wild ride filled with twists and turns, leaving us wondering what would happen next. Would John Leonard's determination pay off? And how would Pepsi respond to this audacious move? But one thing was for sure. This extraordinary tale would go down in history as one of the most jaw-dropping moments in the soda world. Hold on to your seats, because this is where things take a legal twist. John Leonard, the fearless soda enthusiast who dared to dream of flying in a Pepsi-powered jet. Well, buckle up, because after Pepsi turned down his audacious offer, he decided to take them to court. The battle began in sunny Florida, where the case was first brought. But as the drama unfolded, it took an unexpected turn and made its way to the bright lights of New York. The defendant in this high-stakes legal showdown was none other than PepsiCo, the mighty soda giant. They weren't about to back down without a fight. PepsiCo, feeling confident in their position, made a bold move and requested what's known as a summary judgment. Sounds fancy, right? It basically means they wanted the judge to make a decision without going through a full-blown trial. But John Leonard wasn't about to let them off the hook that easily. Leonard claimed that a federal judge wasn't fit to decide on this matter. He argued that only a jury made up of members from the legendary Pepsi generation could truly understand the significance of that mind-blowing commercial. According to him, that advertisement was a legit offer and only the people who felt the power of its message could render a fair verdict. Can you imagine it? Regular folks just like you and me, sitting in the jury box, deliberating the fate of Pepsi and Leonard's dream of riding in a Pepsi-fueled flying machine. It's a battle of David versus Goliath, with a legal twist that'll make your head spin. 
So, my friends, get ready for an unforgettable courtroom showdown where the fate of a daring dreamer hangs in the balance. Will the judge rule in favor of PepsiCo and crush Leonard's hopes? Or will the call for a Pepsi Generation jury be granted, giving ordinary soda enthusiasts the power to decide the ultimate soda saga? One thing's for sure, it's a legal roller coaster you won't want to miss. Get ready to uncover the mind-boggling twists and turns of the legal battle that followed John Leonard's audacious attempt to claim a Pepsi-fueled jet. Brace yourselves, because the courtroom drama is about to unfold. Once the case reached the Honorable Judge Kimba Wood, things took a surprising turn. Leonard's hopes were dashed when the court shut down his claims and denied his chance at recovery. But why? Let's break it down. First, the court determined that the advertisement featuring the jaw-dropping jet wasn't actually an offer according to the rules of contracts. It was more like exaggerated talk, or what the fancy legal folks call puffery. In other words, nobody in their right mind could believe that Pepsi seriously intended to give away a jet worth millions for a mere $700,000. It was all just playful exaggeration. But that's not all. The court pointed out some pretty eye-opening observations about the commercial itself. Picture this. A carefree teenager, who probably couldn't be trusted with the keys to their parents' car, claiming that flying a Harrier jet to school beats riding the bus. Can you imagine the chaos and danger that would cause in a residential area? It's pure teenage fantasy. And let's not forget the court's sensible observations about the true nature of the Harrier jet. They highlighted its powerful role in warfare and attacking targets. It's definitely not the kind of vehicle you'd see parked in a school parking lot. The court made it crystal clear that the idea of using such a serious military machine for a joyride to school was nothing but a joke. Even when the case was appealed to a higher court, the United States Court of Appeals for the Second Circuit, they upheld the previous decision. They basically said, yep, Judge Wood got it right. It was like a final stamp of approval on the court's verdict. So there you have it, the thrilling legal battle that unfolded after John Leonard dared to dream of claiming a Pepsi jet. In the end, the court stood firm, delivering a verdict that echoed common sense. Sometimes dreams collide with reality, and this was one extraordinary clash that had the whole nation buzzing. Thank you for watching this video. And what you think about the court judgment? Was it fair decision? Let us know in the comments. Dylan, restrain him. Order in this court.